Good morning to you. Yeah, just less than 24 hours apart, these two incidents. And they're really creepy, to say the least. And this video is pretty shocking. But it's also pretty amazing how this woman was able to fight off her attacker. And what's even more concerning is what it said in the affidavits for these two incidents. Afterwards, it said that uh, he admitted to detectives that he would have sexually assaulted both women had they not fought him off. Now, thankfully, he is behind bars. He's 25-year-old Xavier Thomas Jones. He's being held without bond because of the assault on a woman in their apartment complex gym. This happened in Carrollwood uh, about three weeks ago. Nishali Alma says that she didn't think much of when she heard a knock at her apartment gym's door because the guy at the door, she'd seen him working out there before and really never had an issue. But just a few minutes after letting him in, Thomas Jones said, did something really bizarre. He walked up to her, Nishali says, didn't even say a word and tried grabbing her by the waist. Well, she pushed him away, yelled at him to back off, tried running away, even had some gym equipment, got, got those in between him to create some more separation, started to trial, tried to dial 911. He was trying to grab her phone, kept coming at her. Eventually, they end up on the other side of the gym. He would not stop. And that's when the attack escalated, became violent, and he was trying to take her to the ground. Nishali just kept throwing several punches, even striking him with her phone. Eventually, he was able to tackle her and appeared to have her pinned on the ground for a few seconds, but she just kept kept on fighting, kept hitting him, kept attempting to call for help until she was able to get on her feet. And she says exhausted him. And that's what ended things because she continued to fight. Well, he eventually gave up. And then once she had a little bit of space, once he let her go, Nishali ran to the door to escape. Now, when she got out of the gym, she called 911 immediately and tells us that deputies were quick to arrive on scene. But Thomas Jones had already taken off on foot. Turns out, though, he lives there. He lives in the same apartment complex. So when he came back the next day, he actually attempted an assault on another woman. According to a second affidavit, Thomas Jones knocked on the door of a different woman, forced his way into her apartment after she'd yelled at him to leave. And thankfully, her fiance, also home, chased him off. They called 911, and this time deputies were able to catch him. Thomas Jones admitted to deputies that he was watching the woman for several minutes while she was on her balcony, said that he wanted to try to have sex with her. That's why he went to her door. He's being charged with sexual battery, felony kidnapping, and three counts of burglary. He is still in jail. Now, remember, as, as frightening as this all is, uh, your phone can actually serve as an emergency uh, dialing function for you. So you don't even have to dial 911 one yourself. Many phones are set up so that if you just quickly hit some of the side buttons a few times, you'll get a prompt. Well, no one doing it for me this time. <laughs> you'll get that prompt it's to emergency uh, call emergency call SOS. You can also use voice activation. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I might activate your phone. It can be very sensitive. Uh, but if you just use your phone's voice activation features, you can do that. Dial 911 hands free. And then some of the newest models, uh, one of our producers pointed out to me, some of the new Google phones can actually start uh, recording as soon as you activate those SOS modes. But remember, you call 911, it's going to start uh, recording you automatically. So that's another great safety right. feature. Even if you can't hey, say if you're anything. using those features right that's right if you're using those features and you have said it out loud sometimes that's enough to get someone to back off as well all right Kelly Cowan live for us this morning amazing bravery she showed